welcome to our channel. I'm Sarah. I'm Brianna. And today we are going to be trying um, some pastries from Carlos Bakery. Carlos Bakery is owned by Buddy Velastro, otherwise known as Cake Boss. And the one here in San Antonio just opened fairly recently, within the past year. Uh, so we decided to try some of the pastries and things from it and see how <laughs> good they are. We, we kind of wanted to wait for some of the hype to die down, so it's been a few months. Um, just to see kind of what the bakery is really gonna be like, not just like, oh, the first you know few months or whatever. So um, it has been a little bit, but we're trying, uh, we have a chocolate um, cake, we have some cookies and cannolis. cannolis, which I've never had a cannoli before. Any eclairs? No. I've never had it before. I've never had And the only eclairs I've had are from like donut places. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's very authentic. <laughs> and then this one is a, a Danish. Oh, I think it's very Danish. Um, and the little the sh bakery is really cool though because uh, the one that we it's in um, if you're in San Antonio it's in La Pintera. the shopping center yes yeah. <laughs> so they have his actual restaurant in one part and then if you walk down a little ways there's the actual just the bakery by itself um, which is nice because then you don't have to get interrupted like if you're you know you just want to go to eat just go eat and you don't have to be dealing with people that are buying from the bakery or whatever um, so they are separate do you want to start with the cookies uh, yeah. Those are probably the most basic, so <laughs> yeah, we'll see. That's probably kind of the like. I'm, I'm really the most excited for the cannolis, so I hope they're good ones because I've cannolis never had and them, so. I'm, not, I'm excited to try the cake. Oh, the cake it looks good. good. I don't know. <laughs> so there's a I have double one. chocolate cookie, I believe. We'll put it up there on the and in the description. So that's this one. Hmm. It's good. I mean, the only other place I can tell you at Poppy's are from the American. I was about to say, American, American, American cookie. Did they have cookie? any of those? I literally taste exactly These are the actually same. my favorite from the Great American. Are they? Yeah. They're good. They're soft. <laughs> and they're not like overly doughy. They're cooked all the way. They taste good. Mm -hmm. But I mean, they're a pretty basic mm -hmm. cookie. It's not I wouldn't anything. go there for a cookie. Right, right. This is the M&M cookie one. They're... It looks like they're topped with M&M's, mm -hmm. not within the actual bag, mm -hmm. right? In there, there, there are chocolate, chocolate chips, chips all inside of there. If you hear random noises in the background, my children are here. So excuse them. Yeah. I mean, it's a basic M&M &M &M cookie. cookie. <laughs> it's I, a, I don't know what I was expecting, but I thought it would be like life changing. I mean, to be honest, I'm really like picky, I guess, with cookies. I don't know, I'm not really a huge cookie person to begin with. I'm a little extra harsh on cookies. Yeah, if I get a cookie, it's gotta be like from a specific. Because I like, if I'm gonna get a cookie, like I want a chocolate chip cookie, a good warm one, fresh from the oven, I like the Nestle Toll House. Like even, not the mix, I like the ones that are already like in the little, in the freezer. The Nestle Toolhouse. <laughs> Nestle Toolhouse. I'm just not a cookie person. I don't even make those. Like I'm not really. If I make cookies, they're like from scratch, and they're usually not like chocolate chip. They're like sugar cookies for Christmas or. These to me aren't as sweet too uh, as like most of the M and M. I don't know if it's because the M and Ms are just on the top part. Maybe it's just chocolate chip on the inside. But I always feel like the M and M cookies are a little bit more sweet, and these aren't as sweet as like. I'm really I mean, I think they're really sweet. good though. I will say that. Yeah. I, I, that again, I'm really picky when it comes to cookies. That I feel like. If they tasted a little funny or whatnot, I would definitely say that, but they, they taste good. They don't. So this is the, she, the lady said that it's their like classic cannoli. Mm. It has a filling on the inside with a sweet ricotta. Yes, and chocolate chips. So I don't even know how to eat this. I don't either. either. Right, the cannoli people are probably gonna get mad at us. The cannoli police. Mm -hmm. But I just pulled off a little piece. I did the know. same. I don't know if you bite into like a taco, then everything comes out the other side. Or I I don't know. Okay, cheers. <laughs> it has a brain almost like a bombado, right? Mm -hmm. So the outside is literally almost like a tortilla fried, mm -hmm. and then you put cinnamon and sugar on the outside, which is one one mm -hmm. in Spanish. So I definitely like that. Okay, um, that is exactly what it tastes like. Like, and the the inside, it's good. Um, oh, it's, mm, it's almost like a cream, like a cream cheese kind of. Like a cheesecake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not super strong though. It's definitely mm -hmm. milder flavor. And it kind of cuts the sweetness of right. the outside part. 
Oh, well, that nice I, little chocolate chips. I don't well, I gotta feel like the outside part also helps balance it. It's not, it's not like a cookie. It's definitely a milder flavor all around. Probably oh, canola is good. Try attempt cutting the other one. And this one is similar. I think it's is it the exact same, just dipped in chocolate. Mm -hmm. right? Hard. And the, the chocolate chips aren't like you would eat like, like from a bag, like a chocolate chip is like kind of hard, you know? Mm -hmm. They're like soft, kind of melty. Right. And the things are cold, so it's not like they're. Okay, now I get the chocolate. Mm -hmm. I don't get the chocolate though until the very end. I think mine, because mine was broken, I got a little bit more of the chocolate pieces actually mixed into the cannoli itself, but. Well, um, it's got chocolate on the inside. It has little pieces of chocolate chip is what no, it no, looks no, like. like the actual, what, the, the outside part. Oh, I get what you're saying. It's like on both it's sides. It's, it's probably like rolled, no? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's I, did, I definitely like this one more than the other one. Me too. Um, but you wouldn't be able to eat as much. It, right. It's, it this is much the chocolate sweet. makes it a lot sweeter. I, I think it's dark chocolate, which yeah, I love. Yeah, it does taste more like dark chocolate. <laughs> I love dark chocolate. You know what else I noticed too? Is the, um, I always pictured it being really, really crunchy. And I feel like it's not as, like, I feel like it's just it's, a, like. It's flaky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. More than it is, like, I thought it was, like, one full and it was crunch in half. You know I what I mean? actually think I got the opposite. I felt like it was going to be softer than it is. Really? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Okay, this is the Claire. So this one is. Your custard. Custard, right, custard. They had strawberries and whipped cream filled. Yeah, strawberries or and cream. Caramel. Caramel. Which I'm not a caramel fan. I like caramel. It's a significant amount of filling in there though. Right? I was just thinking that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I like this. That texture has a weird texture. Mm. No. I think it's almost grainy. What? I'm not tasting that at all. And the bread is like bread. No. <laughs> Yes, it is. The bread by itself doesn't have any look. Just get like a piece of bread. No, but it's it's, oh, it's so not sweet. It doesn't have cinnamon, sugar, or nothing. It's literally. Well, like bread. I feel like it's sweet enough with the custard and the chocolate. Maybe, but even like the top. cannoli, the cannoli you taste the outside part had a little bit of like spices to it. This is like what? I love this. I think this is like way better than the other stuff. We're gonna have all of it. Okay, so since the eclair for me was a fail. Okay, no, but I love the custard and like the I think it's Dunkin' Donuts. Or Shipley's. So donut places that have that custard. It's like a like Not a sweet. To me. I feel like this tastes similar. like a watered down version. No. Of that to me. Oh, you know what we're gonna mention too. Um, <laughs> since this is San Antonio, um, we wanted to pick a couple of local bakeries that we might do in another video that we could compare these to because mm -hmm. we know what we're used to versus like this. This is like a nation. And how many does it have? Do you know? I don't know. I know there's there are several though. Yeah. And his actual, like here, the one that they opened has a restaurant, like I said, and it has a bakery. To me, he's just so well known for like all of his oh, pastries and the cakes right. and the sweets and everything that I'm like, I wonder what, but he's also known for being very authentic from like people, Italian people and stuff saying like his cannolis and things or whatever. It's like the right textures and mm -hmm. things like that. So um, it would be interesting to see what kind of ravioli and, but I would say that we do have like other places here in town right. that we love. And we, we typically do, when we go to bakeries, it's like that little small, like one standing in the city, a very local bakery. So, um, and I feel like those are more authentic in general. Okay, so this is the cake, the chocolate cake though. And they have like a little variety. The only ones we had to choose from were like three though, because they had already sold out mm -hmm. of all the other ones. I don't know if that's a regular thing. Today's what, Monday? Monday. Two, Monday, yeah. So that's, oh, I guess over the weekend. Over the weekend. We're probably making more yeah. like now. I'm really excited for this one though. I'm, I'm it's got, nervous. I it's feel like two layers of cake and two or four, right? Four layers of cake and four yeah. layers of. I'm, I'm a little nervous though because I am such a big fan of cake floss. <laughs> I'm like, it's here. It's cake. <laughs> it's a very good chocolate, like real chocolate cake. So not like you would buy it, yeah. get like a box or no, it's, Walmart cake chocolate. Right. <laughs> You taste like real chocolate. This is so good. This is really good. I would say, and in the texture and everything, mm -hmm. it's it's just right. It's not dry. It's not too that word that we're not going to use. Um, it's, it's a good, good text. That word to describe. 
I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all, but I know there are people that hate Well, and this icing is not like, like it's thick, but it's not like overly, and you can taste that it's really, right. they made it themselves. Uh-huh. Like a homemade icing, not like a Yeah, because sometimes it, it's not, right. And sometimes when it's too thick and it can just really like out sweet the entire cake. I feel like this is a good... And it has the perfect chocolate flavor as the cake too. Yeah. Like the right, right. ratio where it's like one's not more chocolatey than the other one. Mm -hmm. Or too sweet for the other one. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a really good chocolate. I definitely do. I love chocolate I cake. like this one. They had a, a what a, a rainbow cake, a... Confetti. Confetti. I'm gonna try that one. Oh, there were well, there was another like vanilla one, wasn't there? Mm-hmm. And those like I know I know vanilla based cakes are a little bit more finicky. Like a lot of times those are the ones that are a little bit more dry from places. So I, I wonder if they they have a similar consistency to this one. Because I do like the way that this one, the texture. This is the one Brianna chose. Well, she really wants. Out of the three, because there were there was an apple turnover. And there were the two Danishes, and this one had cherry or strawberry, we don't know. Cherry. Cherry, though, I'm pretty sure, right. I'm and okay with cherry. Cheap. Cherry is one of those that, like, you, it's hit or miss with me. Right. Like, if it's real tart, I can't. I actually, I do love cherry, but I do agree that sometimes it can be too overbearing. So this is the Danish. It's a cherry. <laughs> cherry <laughs> filling. I can't even cut it with the floor. I'm struggling. It's the perfect cherry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a little tart, but not like. That is good. Mm -hmm. And you can taste it's fresh cherry. Mm -hmm. Or they're tricking us very well. <laughs> Either way, it's good. I'm not, not complaining. Mm -hmm. And there's like a glaze on the outside. But it's not all over. It's almost like it kind of. So it's not the whole thing, not full of it. It's it almost has a texture of croissant, right? Mm -hmm. It's like the perfect flaky crust. They also have them there that looked really good were chocolate filled croissants, which I've never had also. I didn't even yeah. see those. <laughs> this one to me is kind of um, like I feel like you really have to do a lot to mess it up. I feel like even the ones from like the grocery <laughs> store, I love those. Those are good. <laughs> the gas station. <laughs> They're the Mrs. Barrett still, but those are good too. Yeah. Those dishes are good. Yeah. In comparison to those, the with this one, you can definitely taste that it is fresh. It's actually bakery quality, not like, you know, made by machine. <laughs> That's true, the, the cherry part especially. Even the crust, it's um, very flaky and yet soft. When you, do like the, when you get like the donut cherry fillings, it's just all like jelly texture or whatever. And like this, you can kind of feel almost right. like a little piece and, of And with dough. those, it's like, it, it's almost like you're eating just pure sugar. <laughs> it just tastes like that. Yeah. Where this one can definitely, it, it's still a cherry compote, but um, it's definitely more of like a, a homemade bakery quality. <laughs> Not like that, like the ones you get at the grocery store. <laughs> I, really like I don't think there's anybody no. specific, the one person making no, this. No, for sure. <laughs> but and it's nice too because like I, like the texture of it is like still that kind of like where you bite and it kind of fluffs back up and you it's, right. it's like a softer, fluffy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it like croissant type of texture? It looks like one. Of it is kind of. It does seem very like that, like the way a, a croissant would be, because mm -hmm. it is still the flaky crust, but the inside is obviously softer, like a croissant would be. Mm -hmm. Next, last <laughs> but not least, they might be. <laughs> They're just sugar cookies. Let's share the little star. Oh, it's so cute. What's the other? What is that? Aren't these the ones you don't like though, the sugar? I'm not so, a fan of those. <laughs> I'm not really a fan of sugar cookies to begin with because um, they're kind of basic. Why do you make them for Christmas every year? Then? No, okay, no, no wait, 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 wait. It took me years, not years necessarily, but just over and over I practiced that recipe to get the perfect like sugar cookie consistency that I like. <laughs> oh, and they have a little acorn too. Look how cute that is. It's a specific kind of cookie because I read it on the other one. It's not on this one. I thought it would be. It's like the ones you get in those tins. Oh, that's a yes. Drink. And it said it on there, but I those aren't for fun. No, no Danish, Danish cookies. This is amazing. Well, those are Danish cookies. Those are the tins. I don't know about these with those. But that's what these taste like too in the tins. I love those. I think I that is the sugar cookie itself is exactly the way I like them, where they're a little crispy, not crispy per se, but like they're not break apart, but then the inside is still really soft. Mm -hmm. That's the way I like them. 
And there, it's not too sweet because that's the other thing with sugar cookies. I feel like if the cookie itself is super sweet and then you add the sugar on top, it just it's too much and overwhelming. Well, and that's why I tend to like these more. I know you're not really a fan of these types of sprinkles, but I tend to like these type of sugar cookies more because they have these little like granulated sugar on top versus the icing. I feel like the icing gets to be too much if it's like if the sugar cookie. That's is true. Right. And sometimes the icing can really break the cookie in that it. You know, if it has a weird, sometimes I've tasted some that have like the weirdest flavor aftertaste or whatever. Whereas these, I mean, you can't go wrong. I don't, I don't dislike that type of sprinkle. It's just, um, you know, out of those and the other kind of sprinkles, you know. <laughs> Oh, the different, yes. Anyway. I don't know what they're called, but yeah. Oh, anyway. <laughs> they're like longer sprinkles. Yeah. That are soft. Um, those I prefer normally, but I mean, it, this on this type of cookie, I don't mind them. They're, they're, it tastes fun. Now let's rate everything one to 10, each item from one being not so great to 10 being phenomenal. Okay, so let's start the cookies. What would you rate those? 7.5 now, because I feel like you're too <laughs> berating me about the cookies. <laughs> I think they're good cookies. I think they're evenly distributed. They are. They're, they're good. Things. No, they, they're definitely good cookies. It's just to me, like, I don't think they were like phenomenal cookies. They weren't anything that I couldn't get somewhere else. Like, you know, they, they weren't like a specialty cookie, I guess. I mean, it's not, it's not that they were bad. They were definitely delicious cookies. I agree that they were evenly distributed and everything. Uh, so I would give those probably like a set, a six, probably six. <laughs> okay, and then I think I think the cake was a 10. It was the perfect kind of cake, which you need. It's very, every layer was perfect. It the was layers even. were perfect. The chocolate tasted like chocolate. I agree. It wasn't they were perfect. Fake chocolate. As far as a chocolate cake, like what you would look for for a chocolate cake, especially like that, like for a bakery on a date or something, like it just looked really pretty. It was a really pretty clean mm -hmm. cut. And all of them were like that. Like they had them kind of like in to just show like which one of them. Yeah. And every layer is the exact, I swear I can measure some or something. No, they were, they were really, because they were really good cake. I, I think it, it was delicious, very, very good. I don't know that like, it wasn't anything like mind blowing, life altering, you know. But it was good. I don't know what she wants, like fireworks <laughs> to come out of the No, like, you know, like, like a good that like drizzles out, or like, I don't know, something that would make it like phenomenal. I think it was a really good. I think it was good. It was really good. I would give it an 8.59. It's not perfect, perfect, but it's, it's up there. The Danish, I would give it a, I would give it a nine. I would probably agree. I would say probably nine. That was really good. I think the the compo was delicious. I think, um, like I said it was before, little specks of cherry. Yeah, like I said before, it was it's definitely cherry. fresh. It, it wasn't, you know, the kind that, like we were saying. I mean, you can't go wrong with the Danish. You can buy them from the store, mm -hmm. but it still had a bakery quality. Well, and too. some of them too. The actual like Danish is like covered in glaze, whereas this was like a drizzle. Like mm -hmm. they drizzled kind of a right. So it, it like wasn't perfect, overbearingly yeah. sweet. Right. But just enough to where it helped the cherries to be mm -hmm. kind of sweet, more balanced sweet than, than right. tart. So it was really good. I and know. the crust was delicious. Hey, Claire is a two for me. Um, <laughs> I love it. Very there. quickly getting to a know. one. She keeps trying to it. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, I feel like even if you didn't care for it, I feel like it's still a solid five. Like to me, I would I wouldn't eat it again. Way up there, there like 8.59. To me, a five, you would buy it again. I would not buy that again. I would totally buy that again. To me, it was like, I mean, like I would eat it again if it was there, because it's sweet, and I can eat just about anything sweet. But the custard to me was very watered down. The bread no. was like a French bread. No, it, it was not. Soft. I don't know what you the tasted. I really like, I'm like thing. so confused by what you tasted. It was just because I didn't taste anything like that. I feel like it was so good. It was like a sponge cake, very spongy. Um, no, yes. I don't know. Yes. Two different ingredients. Clearly, like it was like so. It was so. so good. It was a two, one and a half tip for me. I would give it like an eight point five nine easily. I thought it was delicious. I don't. I don't understand. The I thought I I lumped in the sugar cookies with the other cookies because to me it was they were neat also. They were like basic sugar. Cookies. Yeah. Well, I don't know. The, I I would say that the, I think that they were the exact kind of sugar cookie that I'm expecting. They're also those type like where they're flat, like blue kind I make. Mm -hmm. When you can actually decorate them, they're not like a traditional cookie where they have you know all the cracks and oh, yeah. nooks and crannies. I don't know what you call those. The cannolis. The cannolis. 
That is my first cannoli, so I'm not, <laughs> I don't have a lot to base I'm not basing it off of a whole lot, other than the fact that it was, it was really a good, good. Yeah. I liked the texture. It wasn't like a boring, just like a French bread flavor. It was like a cinnamon spiced type. I don't even know what the breading is. Whatever the breading is. And the way that it flaked off, I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was gonna be like a crunchy, like so you break it in half, it was gonna be real hard, and it wasn't. It was like a flaky. And the inside, which is ricotta, the only way I've ever had ricotta. Is, sweet ricotta, yeah. Yeah, the only way I've ever had a ricotta cheese is like an lasagna. Right. I've ever had like a sweet. So I was kind of a little hesitant at that. I might have like a weird texture and did not. It was a good texture. Um, I will say that I like the chocolate dip cannoli um, much better. I feel like it just kind of meshed everything together a lot better. I feel like it was overall like a better dessert. But I think both of them were And to me, I, would, I think I would choose them for very different reasons. Yeah. Like if I want like a dessert, like we had a really small meal type dessert and I wanted something really sweet and really decadent, I would pick the chocolate covered right. one. And if it was just I something agree. like as a, like a light or even like as an hors d'oeuvre or something like mm -hmm. people walking around eating, I would pick the other one. Right. Because that other one was very mild. I feel mm -hmm. like it was, it was still sweet, but it was so mild that it would be something like that. Like just, and it is nice because all of the desserts that we tried, um, considering the pricing or whatever, like that we've been talking about, they're all ones that you would share with somebody. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like it wouldn't have to be one that you're just gonna sit there and eat by yourself. You could get them and eat mm -hmm. it at dessert with your mm -hmm. significant other, with your best friend, with your dog. And, with mm -hmm. your sister. But yes, with your sister. Um, you no, but I mean, if you saw like the way we had it, I mean, we only ate a tiny piece of everything. And like right now I feel perfectly content in my dessert intake. So mm -hmm. that is something like that. Like you could just get it and share each piece. Which is nice because a lot of time that's what you do when you when you go like to a bakery right. or whatever you mm -hmm. want it to be. Or after, because they're, they're in La Pantera where they have, they have like a Kona Grill, they have P.F. Chang's, they have different restaurants, so you can always go eat your dinner and then stop mm -hmm. at the bakeries and pick up from there, which is yeah. also nice. Um, as of right now, you cannot order online at the time of this recording, but um, I do know that in other places you can order ahead. You can order online and go pick up in-store, which would be even better. Like if you live in that area or you're already going to be there, mm -hmm. it would be really fast. Or if you're shopping and you just want to go pick it up. Although I'm not sure if you can order the same day. I'm not possible about that. I think that's something nice to try like in the future. But like just overall, they were all really good desserts. Mm -hmm. I don't know that it was quite what I was expecting because I feel like after watching Buddy for so many years, I don't know what I was expecting. I was expecting like like fireworks. 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 <laughs> fireworks to come out afterwards when I ate everything. Yeah. And I don't know that I really felt that. Like, I, well, I, I think agree. we have to compare it to other Right. Or other places we like, like right. we said, because to me, I would still go to Mithiera to pick up mm -hmm. Munuelos over getting a panoli. Or yeah. I would but and that, that, might, that might be our upbringing <laughs> that also is creating a bias. But yeah, I do agree with that. Okay, well, thanks for watching, guys. We will see you again soon. Bye. No, no, that Ethan was gross. I love it. Oh, it tasted like watered down something. What? Like the milk, like. <clears throat> I'm like seriously. And I love confused. Eclair from like Dunkin' Donuts. No, I'm from so confused. So many Shipley's. Oh my god, I love them. But that custard. I'm so confused because I thought it was so good. <laughs> See, I don't know why you didn't just listen to me. You could have just eaten off the end. I knew that's how, how we were going to eat. I know, but I thought because then we, you get the side. I didn't know if we were going to eat from the side or not, which I didn't. Yeah, that would have been all that. I'm not really sure why I thought that. <laughs> <laughs> that was my thought process. But, you know. You can get us another plate to wear it. No. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> when it's you, you're like, hey, I'm going to do whatever. <laughs> when it's me, no, we're not. <laughs> no. no. I've already got no like 20 times. My apologies, I was trying to clean up what she never listens to me. Try not to. Yeah, don't talk because this is going to get cut out. This <laughs> <laughs> is way too long driving here.
YouTuber, and you should be really good at this. <laughs>